Hey guys, I wanted to show you a quick SEO tip. This has to do with your podcast descriptions and being searchable on Google. I just experimented with this and saw what was happening. Wanted to share this because it's so useful. Okay, check this out. I wanted to find OnRamp Invests Alexa Quick Link. And this is something that I've podcasted about in the past. And so I searched it on Google and I was hoping I would just get a quick, easy way to find it. Look, my episode, a Spotify episode, the description that I put in shows up here, okay? And so if you were to view this in Spotify on mobile or the Spotify desktop app, it doesn't work on the, um, in the browser, but this episode has, look at the description, links. Here's the text, OnRamp Invest Alexa Skill Powered by Wealth Voice. If you click that, it's going to open the quick link, all right? Google has now scraped that. Here's what I mean, and this is why it's valuable. If somebody's looking up anything that you've talked about on your podcast, you want your episode description to be rich and have outbound links. Okay, look how it looks on Apple Podcasts, same thing. Here's the episode. If you were to search on Apple Podcasts, on ramp quick link, this episode shows up. Here is the description. This is what I'm talking about for SEO. You need to do this. These are links to other sites from your podcast description. Here's a link to a tweet. Here's how you do this, at least in ACAST, that's the host that I use, but Podbean, Libsyn, all the hosts let you do this. This is the episode that's being found when we search on Ramp Invest Alexa Quick Link, okay? Here's the description. This is what I actually put in there back a couple of months ago when I put this out. This is a link, that is a link, okay? When you use simple words like tweet or Tyrone, that's not going to have great SEO. But if you have specific keywords, especially unique ones like on ramp, invest, Alexa skill, powered by wealth voice, that's rich. Okay. From a search perspective. Now here's what I mean. Um, on ramp invest plus wealth, let's say wealth voice. Okay. Look what all the podcasts where I've ever mentioned this, I'm so careful to always put in the description, those keywords. Here's another one player, like other pod catchers will scrape player.fm. This is a weird site that still has my old podcast logo. It's not even scraping the updated graphics, but it scrapes the important text. It scrapes the important links. Look at this. So think about this for your business. What kind of links do you want Google to be able to find? Do a podcast episode about it. Make sure that you have rich links and outbound text. When you use a hyperlink in your podcast description, highlight the text, make it a hyperlink and make sure that it has those rich keywords that you're looking for then Google is going to find it. That's SEO. That's the SEO benefit of podcasting. Okay. This is just one case in point, but absolutely fill out those episode descriptions with rich keywords, good text, and a good hyperlink or two, not too many, because then they will downgrade uh, the authority of each link, the more that you have. But if you have only one or two, that's like saying, Hey, Google, these two really matter. These are relevant to the subject that I'm talking about. And that gets rewarded because it's interactive, rich media content, maybe more so than blog posts. Always fill out your podcast episode descriptions with a little bit of thought and good keywords and text. It will benefit your search engine optimization, I promise you. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. We talk about voice marketing, finance, all aspects of business, whatever else I wanna talk about. Sometimes we do personal finance. It's a fun hodgepodge. Look at my videos and you'll see. But podcasting and voice marketing is my business and I will give you tips about that all day long because these are things that will help you grow your podcast audience. And that's what I want for you. Make sure you sign up for Wealth Voice if you want to podcast on Alexa, especially if you're in the financial advice business, but we can build a skill for actually any industry. That's the secret of Wealth Voice. It's just skin for finance right now. What's coming, you'll see. All right, subscribe to my channel, thumb this video up if you found it helpful. Make sure that you are filling out your episode description on your podcast episodes. Basic SEO, really helpful. Easy to do. Do it every time. Talk to you guys next time.